10 things every man should carry. All right, let's talk about it. Hey, hey, YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin. You knew that, didn't you? Hey, guys, today I want to talk about 10 things that every man should carry. Now, I don't mean that these are 10 things that you should actually have on you, in your pockets and everything, every day. But, they are 10 things that I think every man should have accessible to at all times, okay? Meaning, you should be able to get to these things at any point in the day that you may need them. So, let's get started. All right, I'm going to go through these 10 items, and they're in no particular order of importance, all right? So, the first item that I think every man should have available at all times is a watch, okay? Now, I know you might be saying, well, I don't need a watch because I got a phone. Well, a watch is on your wrist, and when somebody wants to know what time it is, even if it's you, you can just look at your wrist and see what time it is. You don't have to reach for your phone, or what if you don't have your phone dog on it? Just strap it on your wrist. Be a real man. Now, it don't have to be an expensive watch. It doesn't have to be a Rolex or a Tag Hauer or whatever. Go down to Walmart and get you one of these Timex Expedition. Takes a lick and keeps on ticking. But it's important to know what time it is. All right, that's item number one. Item number two is a knife. Now, I don't care what kind of knife you carry. That's up to you. The thing I want to get across is it's important to have a knife. Okay, some type of knife. Now, the type of knife I have on me at any point in time depends on where I'm going, what I'm doing. If I'm going camping or backpacking, I'm going to have a knife that's more significant than this. But if I'm just going over to a family reunion or out and about town, then this knife works, okay? Doesn't matter what kind of knife, just make sure you have a knife, make sure you know how to use it, make sure it's sharp. And then of course the knife should go with what task that knife is going to be doing. So like I say, camping is going to be different than walking around town. Item number three, a good quality belt. I recommend a good high quality, a good quality leather belt. Okay, uh, this one right here, this is true, uh, genuine leather, and uh, this could be used for a lot of different things. Um, it's important that you have one that is real leather. Not that faux leather with the stitching on there that peels and all that. I don't know how long I've had this belt, but it'll be around when I'm dead and gone. Belts can be used for a lot of different things. If you need to strap something down and you don't got nothing else. Uh, it could be used as a tourniquet if you had to use it as a tourniquet. But you want a good quality belt, okay? None of that yachting club stuff, the little nylon things or whatever. Get you a good real belt, okay? Every man should have one. Whether you need it to hold up your drawers or not, okay? Have a good belt. Uh, the second, all the other things are going to be found inside of my bag here. And uh, while that's not one of the ten items a bag, maybe this is a bonus item but something to carry all of these things in, all right? I chose this bag right here. It's an Ozuko brand. I made a video on it. You didn't see it? All right, well, I'll put a card up here for you. You can go check that out after this video. But stick around and finish watching this one first. I'm just going to open it up and start grabbing things, guys. Inside of that kit, I've got another kit. A kit in a kit. Imagine that. Now, sometimes I will put this in my coat pocket uh, in the fall and in the winter when I'm wearing a, a coat. This is a, 
by Max Edition. And uh, inside of here is a little kit within itself. And like I say, it fits in a coat pocket well. So I'm going to open it up. And you'll see here a number of items. And uh, item number four, I believe, we're on now is a flashlight. Right now, I don't care what kind of flashlight it is. I will never own an O-Light just because I don't like the way they market things. This here is a, uh, well, hell, I don't even know what brand this is. It says Task 100 Lumen. It's plenty bright, compact, easy to use, on, off, on, off. It ain't got none of those different crap you'll never use, SOS and all that. If you want a flashing light, do that. But a flashlight, whatever brand you choose. Now, if you're an old light lover and I just defended your delicate thoughts, I'm sorry, okay? If you like old light, you go ahead and get you an old light. Bottom line is, how many times has a flashlight been handy? Now, I also have one on my key ring, but uh, that's another video, I suppose. Item number two is a multi-tool. Now, I have tried over the years and tried and tried to like multi-tools. I've got a Gerber suspension. I've got another uh, inexpensive one. I just don't carry them in my pocket with me all day because over the years, doggone it, I've never really needed one. And all the stuff that's on them multi-tools, I don't need all of those things. But I do think it's important to have some type of tool that is multifunctional. My choice, and again here in my little Max Edition kit, is this Victorinox a -Lox. Now this one's all fancy. You can see it even says Arabin on it. But, uh, of course you've got a knife, and of course you've got your Phillips head and your flat head, and all that stuff. I'll tell you one thing that I have really used when I first saw it. I'm like, what am I going to use that for? That is this doggone awl. You want to put a hole in a piece of wood? Actually, I'll show you how that awl helped me with this. A while back, I needed another hole in my belt. So you can see, I put that hole there in the middle because that was, that was too tight. That was too loose, so I put a hole right there in the middle. And I use this to do it. But this one's got the knife. It's got the uh, scissors. It's got the awl. It's got the flat head. It's got the Phillips head. Those are the things I basically need. Yeah, some type of multi-tool. Whatever your favorite is. Alright, that was item number five. Let's move on to item number six. A lighter. And you guys know me, if you've watched any of my videos, I'm all about the damn big lighter. Alright, this particular one's got some duct tape wrapped around it. That's self-explanatory. It also is good tender. You never know when you need duct tape. That lighter works for just about any doggone thing you're going to need it to. I did a lighter video. You can go scroll through my uh, videos and check that out if you want to, but... Sometimes, if I'm going out somewhere that's a little bit fancier, a little more sophisticated, I'll take one of my Zippo lighters just to be a sophisticated gentleman. But hey, nothing beats a big lighter. Now, I have this one in this little kit, but I usually have one in my pocket as well. Number six, a lighter or a way to start a fire. All right, let's move on to number seven, a pen and something to write on. I brought my pencil. Give me something to write on, man. Okay, now I always keep in my pocket this little Tombow pen. I like it because it's small. This pen also writes in the rain. It writes upside down because it's pressurized. You can get them on Amazon. It's a Tombow, okay? I like the size of it. It's got a good clip there. 
and uh, easy to use, refillable, and I like it because it fits in any pocket. And if I have pockets that have the little flops over them like that, this pen is so small, I can just stick the whole thing in the pocket and let it go down in there. So, and then something to write on, okay? Y'all, how many times have you, somebody wanted to give you a phone number or something and you didn't have nothing to write on, you write it on your hand and it wears off. Have a notepad, okay? This is a write in the rain. I've done a video on this. Again, you can scroll through my videos. Yeah, I could put a card up here, but I want you to scroll through my older videos. Have something to write on. Don't do you no good to have a pen if you ain't got nothing to write it on. Now, that's the pen I keep in my pocket. Also, in this kit, I have another pen. Alright? Just in case I don't have this one. Where were we? Number seven? Alright, so that moves us on to number eight. A first aid kit. Okay, now in my truck, I have a full trauma kit. It's a whole bag. A little bit bigger than this bag that will cover any need necessary accessible very easily but even more easily just a little boo-boo kit I've got this first aid kit here and it comes in this nice little container I've got some medicine in there I've got some band-aids and gauze it's waterproof um, it's by a company called lifeline you can get these on Amazon as well now, I'm not going to go through and do all the links and all that because that's a lot of work, doggone it. And YouTube won't pay me that much. But anyway, a first aid kit in whatever form you think works for you, okay? Moving on to number nine items. That, number nine of the ten items that every man should carry. A repair kit, all right? How many times have you been somewhere where you... Or someone you're with needs to repair something. I don't know what brand of bag this is. I believe, actually I do. It's a Condor bag. In my repair kit, and this is just what I have. You can tailor yours. Main thing is that you have a repair kit. But in here, I have some electrical tape. I have some rim oil. I have... Another flashlight, okay, just for this kit. I have one of those there, one of them there multi-tools that I was telling you about, okay. I have a screwdriver. Now, this is a screwdriver, but it is also in the handle. You'll see it's got various heads, flat heads, Phillips heads, Allen wrenches, and it's got a little socket set on there. And all of those fit in that handle. Go into the tip. I also have in here a pair of scissors. What do you know? Another damn big lighter. With duct tape. I also have in here a little mini sewing kit. Okay? In case something needs to be sewn up. I've got in here some super glue. Nothing holds things together better than super glue. I've got in here a little Allen wrench kit. I've got in here a little top of a toothbrush that I can use if I need to clean off something. And I've got in here, I had all these connected. I don't know how they came unconnected. I got some safety pins, all right? And I've got in here a Sharpie pen. And I've got in here another right in the rain notebook. So, with all of this stuff, I should be able to fix just about anything. All right? This size of a kit is perfect for me. I've used uh, the items in here quite a few times and uh, found it to be very effective to have a repair kit on me. All right? All right, let's see what else we got. We're down to item number 10, okay? And this is an item that I keep in this kit. And that is an emergency radio. This is just a little teeny tiny one. I don't have the batteries in it. I have the batteries taped to the back there so that the batteries 
will always be good and that they don't go bad and leak and corrode inside of the radio. But this has uh, AM, FM, and it has the uh, emergency weather radio. I can't remember what that's called. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Um, and it's got wideband on there. And uh, it's just got a little antenna. You can put your headphones in there if you want to. And it's got the volume and the tuner and all that. But yeah, just being able to know what's going on around you regarding the weather or an emergency type of situation. You know, those are, uh, it's important to have that. So, that's item number 10, an emergency radio. A bonus item that I keep inside of here is one of these Israeli bandages. Alright? Uh, Israeli bandage or a compression bandage is good to have if there's a major wound like a gunshot or a, a stabbing or a, somebody gets cut really bad. You can have this compression bandage which works somewhat like a tournament. 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 Somewhat like a tourniquet in conjunction. If you needed a tourniquet, you could always use your good quality belt that we talked about. Ten items I think every man should carry. Anyway, hey guys, I appreciate you coming along. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And leave me some comments down below. What did I leave out? Is there anything that I don't have that maybe you carry? Something that you think is essential that every man should carry? I'd love to hear from you. And hey... If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd like to ask you to consider doing so. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.